Yo, what is going on guys? It's Cryptic TNT back in a brand new video. Today, we are going to be trying to get our wheel set up properly. If you are on an old school wheel like a T300 or a Logitech G920, um, then I understand your struggle. I've got the same struggle. I've got a T300 and trust me, trust me, you're going to need this video. It's going to definitely make the game feel a lot better and make catching snaps and catching the back end a lot easier. So please subscribe to the channel cryptic tng let's get stuck into the video so let's go down to settings and we're going to go straight to the controls and your force feedback settings um gonna explain a bit about how i came to these settings because i i was testing for ages and what, what i realized is definitely with especially with like a, a t300 i can't be sure for the logitech because i don't have that wheel but i'm guessing because it is a gear driven wheel i've got a belt driven wheel because i'm guessing you know they they have sort of the same sort of flaws um where i came about these settings for this wheel definitely helped me in just feeling the car a lot more while driving especially on this game where in the particularly in the gtes the loss of back end is so easy that you know it can be almost impossible to catch them with our wheels you know sort of mid corner slow corners you lose a little bit of feeling as if there's just a little bit of numbness there you know so um go down to the settings anyway i've got all this good stuff on i've got the torque capability to four because i believe that's the highest for the wheel i've got i i generally don't like a wheel that is too heavy so my force feedback is actually on 65 i will show you my Frostmaster profile after as well so you guys can copy that as well um but my force feedback strength is on 65 this is particularly up to whoever uses a t300 some people might like it heavier i personally don't like it too heavy because i always feel like the fans start to come on and then the wheel tends to get weaker as the races go on so i i don't like that you know i don't like starting off with a heavy wheel and then midway through the race you're wondering why you're losing consistency is because the feeling of your wheel is changing because you're losing a little bit of force feedback so i try to have a, a, a medium to where that doesn't happen um force feedback smoothing i've got it on two i did try it higher but it just felt too smooth almost like you know you couldn't feel textures i do like to feel a little bit of textures even though you know um i don't like it too high um steering bump degrees is default on 40 now my minimum steering torque is on five so that means like the minimum amount of force feedback normally i think this is on zero this is amplified by five for me because as it states in the top right hand corner sets the minimum force feedback strength to be used to compensate for static friction of gear and belt driven wheels do not use on direct drive wheels that is because our wheels tend to sort of have nothing in the middle of like slow corners there's there's no real feeling you know and that's where you sort of need a little bit of force feedback so i've actually got it on five um i've if you go down to advanced force feedback i've got my steering resistance coefficient on 55 now these two settings the the coefficient and the saturation these made the biggest difference to me feeling the rear end of the car and it made it so much easier to catch the rear slides i could i could sort of feel it coming whereas before this the, the rear end stepping out was just catching me completely out ca catching me unawares basically so particularly i've noticed as well in the lmp2 cars it feels a lot better coming out of slow corners a lot better you can get your foot down slightly earlier and as the car starts to slide you can actually feel it in the wheel so it's much easier to to control and you just end up gaining time that's what happened to me personally i end up going quite a bit quicker once i change this now the only thing i would say is particularly in a gte car sometimes it feels like you know the car might might be like drifting towards one side because the wheel while you're driving straight is a little bit heavier so you have to sort of you know be a little bit more you gotta manhandle the car a little bit more basically is what i'm saying to you you got you gotta be ready to manhandle the car a little bit you will definitely feel the weight of the wheel change um but trust me trust me the main thing is keeping that back end in check because you've seen what it's like in the gtes one wrong move one acceleration slightly too early and your rear tires are red and the car's just stepping out and a lot of the time it's too late to even catch the spin um so for me these were very very important 
Um, now, if you go down, I've got my curb update threshold to 0.3. I believe it was 0.1 on default. I've put that up to three. I, I just want to feel, I still want to feel some details on the track as well, but I don't want to overdo it. The steering torque sensitivity, again, is sort of like the, the minimum steering torque. Um, again, it's something that is particular for our wheels, belt driven wheels and um, uh, like cogs or whatever it is they use. So I've got that on 80%. You can change this from 80 to 100, but I I like to meet them where when I had this at 100, I felt like when I when I brake, almost like you couldn't couldn't really move the steering wheel. Like the steering wheel will go very heavy when I'm like in the middle of me braking. I didn't want that, so I, I put that down to 80 and um happened to, to be alright. Now this used constant steering force effect, leave this off. I tried this to see what it would do and basically it's almost like it steers for you but it just <laughs> the steering's just weird it's just it steers at awkward places like you'll be trying to drive down the straight and it's just steering from left to right and left to right so make sure you definitely leave that off you don't want that um and again as you guys can see i've got the t300 um you definitely definitely for me if you use an old school wheel you, you need to change your settings, man, because it's not beneficial how the steering setup is set up for you to go quickly and drive comfortably. But I'm going to show you guys what I've actually got in my Frostmaster profile settings and make sure you guys copy that down as well. So as you guys can see, this is my T300 wheel settings um, running 900 degrees. And guys, there's actually a new update firmware for our wheels for 2024. So make sure you go on the uh, Frostmaster website, download the firmware, the latest firmware for the T300s. And I think for all the Frostmaster wheels, there's a, there's, a, there's an update. So make sure you go ahead and do that. I've downloaded mine. Um, you'll see it's TTRS um, 2024. So you know it's the newest version. Um, I'm going to get to test the forces in a minute, but my settings actually, I've literally got everything just maxed out on 100. Um, I haven't got the boost constant spring because for me, it just feels horrible. But everything pretty much here is 100. Now, when you go to this section, what I tend to do is I tend to go to bumpy road. And, you know, especially on like, for instance, on ACC, I would always test. Um, I would always test this and see how bumpy the road was. And if it was too crazy, then I'll start putting the, the periodic down and um, just to level it out a little bit. But I feel like it feels pretty good on um, Le Mans Ultimate. So this is how I've got my wheel set up, guys. Trust me. Um, as I said before, it's definitely going to help you feel the back end. And that sort of that sort of numbness going through the slow corners should actually disappear quite a bit. The, feel, the wheel's going to feel a lot more weighty when you're going through the slow corner. So you feel like you've got more control of the car. But um Anyway, guys, trust me, give it a try. Cryptic TNG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.